Hey, what's up, RC fam? Sorry, I haven't been active recently. I've just been getting a bit drained and tired of making videos. Uh, I know there's a lot of you on the network that fully understand how the tools work and what they do and stuff. But I just get really uh, tired with the naysayers on there that are like, meh, I don't understand this and I don't get that. Or the ones that are just constantly trying to shit on <laughs> my... Uh, my efforts of making these videos and stuff and just for the naysayers out there i don't need people to join roulette calculators i don't need the money okay the 100 percent. it's actually more of an effort for me making the videos than for me just to play roulette in fact a case in point i'm just gonna uh, show you this so if i go to youtube uh, i need to sign in but um roulette calculators so this is basically just to show you that uh, obviously I got 5,551 subscribers over the whole month, like 28 days, $87 revenue from the videos. So I really, you know, there's no real motivation for me making videos. Don't think because you're watching my videos that I'm earning lots of money. I make a lot of money playing roulette, but I don't make it from the YouTube videos. I make the YouTube videos to help people understand what it is I do and how I've been able to win at roulette uh, over the last nine years. Okay, well, longer than that, really. But um, And I don't win every single session, but it's just, uh, I just need to get that across. I'm not, I don't think, because I've got a YouTube channel that I'm making money from it. Not really. Uh, I make money from playing roulette. I don't really make money from uh, showing the videos to get people on the network. I mean, I do, but it doesn't really go that far. And again, if I show you my statistics here, uh, today alone we've had over 200,000 page views, 100, uh, 103 million, nearly 104 million page views since I set the site up in 2021. The membership fees that I get from the players merely go towards future development for these tools and also the cost of the server, which is... Uh, a very high load server there's a lot of stuff going on there with tracking these tables automatically and the sheer volume of page views that the site gets so again i don't make anything really from the memberships at all i pay the developers out there to upgrade and improve the tools and that's my rent rant okay so pretty much i get exhausted from making these videos to have people just who don't think what I'm doing works okay it does work a hundred percent you're just not doing it right if you've had trouble and most of the people that complain are people that have never even been a member so <laughs> it's just frustrating for me so sometimes I get to the point where I can't be bothered to make the videos and um, there's a scene from Goodwill Hunting and it it's exactly how I feel with this in fact I'm going to play it for you right now do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. And I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. And that's a scene. That's pretty much how I feel when uh, people are, they, they just don't understand what I'm doing. And I get it. I try my best to explain what I'm doing as best as I can. And I create the tutorials, the courses and things like that uh, out of my own time to really try and educate people on what I'm doing now there are some people on here that fully understand how these work like uh, this chap here and Ernesto he's been on the site for ages so Sam and there's uh, no more tax and uh, like a whole there are a whole bunch of you and I really do appreciate it uh, and these are the people that won't be watching my videos so they <laughs> won't come on to my YouTube channel and and uh, you know stick up for me because they don't need to watch the videos they're, they're on here every day and I see the same faces on here every day and doing it like uh, here's one from Kevin I'm, I'm not sure if he's a newish member I can't, I'm terrible at that but he's shown here the area key 15 times on the highlighted section three times on the unhighlighted section again if you don't know what the area key is check that out but that's a great signature right anyway my rant is over we've got a whole bunch of things on here there is something I want to touch on which is this has anyone ever tried playing as a team? Or what if you open two different casinos, choose the same table? I am so excited to try this. In fact, I've actually set up some spreadsheets. So if I don't find uh, a table using the dealer tracker today, I will definitely face that. If not, I'll do it as a separate video. 
and uh, th there's a way that we can test this quite easily and I feel like the best method for doing that will be finding a table that is primarily zeros and ones uh, because that's what we want you know be bouncing between highlighted and un unhighlighted but for now I've got something exciting you'll notice uh, I've done quite a few videos using the dealer tracker so I've come up with this dealer tracker progression chart I'm enjoying making these spreadsheets and uh, this one's an interesting one because whenever I use the dealer tracker I never really do any sort of progression I just bet on the highlighted numbers if they are sort of getting double ups and triple ups and stuff and I typically do okay from it but I, I was always thinking what if I had a progression so this is a progression I've got 11 steps okay now 11 steps if I missed on every uh, every spin we're covering we're not even covering 10 numbers but placing 10 units out each spin uh, I'd need 93 uh, euros and in this case I'm using the euro account and um, basically what happens is you do the bet it's going to be one unit per number which will be 10 cents if that is a loss uh, we would step down if it was a loss we'd step down if it's a win that's it we've completed the series okay so it's not stepping up or down so let me clear that out let's say um, something different happens say we go down a few and if we get the win if it lands on just a standard highlighted number you put the W here but if it's a double up which means you put two units on that number you would go over here if it was a triple up you would put the win here okay so same deal as before but you're essentially uh, I'll, sh I'll explain this a little bit more because I know this probably sounds confusing to a lot of people like what do you mean by 1x 2x 3x 4x uh, I'm going to show you that I've got some tables that have been uh, tracking while I've been having my rant so let's go over here so you can see all of the highlighted numbers here like 36 33 14 29 they're all single uh, basically from where the dealer spun the ball from uh, to where the ball lands it measures the distance okay and then it basically makes a highlighted section based on the distance from where they spun the ball from to where the ball landed and then these highlighted cells shift around the wheel based on where the dealer's going to spin the ball from next so in this case the dealer's spinning the ball from number 23 these are the measurements based on the previous spins okay so don't think that these numbers that are highlighting are numbers that have come out they're not they're measurements from where the dealer spun the ball from what we're looking for is clusters grouping together and uh, a darker shade of blue as well so you can see the one above these highlighted cells means that area of the wheel has been landed on once let me go for a few tables and so you can see here we've got two uh, uh one double up now um but you can see they're kind of grouping together like here we've got a group of numbers together and then sort of between one and 35 but on 17 there you'll see that that's got a two which means that that pocket not the number that pocket has been landed on twice out of the last 10 spins so if it if we got the result and it landed on any of the highlighted numbers so say it landed on 16 in this case and we got the win we would put the w in here if it landed on say number nine which has got two above it that means that pocket's been landed on twice because i'm going to bet two units on number nine and we get the win we would put the win on times two and same if it was on three if it's had been landed on three times and so on so I'm gonna try and uh, do a bit of gameplay on a table I want to find something that's looking nice this one's okay roulette green it's got two double ups this is a multi-direction table as well so I want to see what the opposite spin direction is like and uh, yeah we'll just see it. it's uh, just gonna do some low stakes on this and see if we can generate some profit I've never used a progression so it might work or I might just because I'm increasing the the actual bet amount I might wipe out my balance I don't know yet let's have a look and find out so we're waiting for this one to update it's currently uh, on number 17 so there's no double ups on the opposite spin direction uh, but that was roulette green I'll check that one out Russian roulette um, 31 and the opposite spins looking okay we've got two double ups there 34 and 25 which are next to each other so I'll just scour through again German roulette we've got two double ups there and the same on Italian roulette number 2722 this one's got a triple up okay so this is roulette Macau and number three has been landed on three times 
I want to see what the opposite spin direction is like. So in this example, if I if I uh, basically place the units out, opposite side's got one double up. Um, let's have a look at the table just so I can uh, illustrate what I'm talking about. We're looking for Roulette Macau, which is here. And what I'll do is shrink this down like this. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so this dealer's got basically nine results, oh, eight results that have um, been landed on once. So eight pockets on the wheel that's been landed on once, and one instance there where it's been landed on twice that pocket. And on the opposite spin, I believe there was a triple up. Uh, I don't know if number 17 was highlighted. Let me turn this down a touch. But yeah, so what I would do is place the bets on the 0, 2, 3, 16. 33, 34, two, uh, three units on 35, and one unit on 36. Now, if any of those landed, if I, you know, I got the result on there, I would put in a W. If not, I would put an L and step down. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a go. Uh, I like to see a little bit more on there. That's gone to number one, so you can see that is right next to those pockets there, 16 and 33. So I'm a little bit apprehensive to play this one just yet. Um, I mean, there is a triple up, but that double up's now gone. So you can see on the opposite spin, um, I would like to find something that's looking a lot nicer instead of just playing for the hell of it. And that was uh, another reason I stopped. The last video that I did on the area key, I did get a good win. I was doing three units per number. But when I evaluated the video, when I uploaded it, I was like, there was no real signatures on any of them dealers. I was just playing for the hell of it because I'm trying to make a video every session. So that's landed on zero, so that is a double up, okay? So I would have got the win on that one. Uh, in fact, let's go for it. So I'm gonna set it 10 cents, and all I'm gonna do is match up with what the table does. Um, it's a little bit slow updating, so I might have to switch it to uh, auto tracking. Yeah, I mean it's only one double up. Uh, oh, we're looking at Turkish roulette there. I'm about to do what <laughs> do what I did before, betting on the wrong table. So that's Turkish roulette. Let me just scour through some of these again. Uh, I think it's been pretty much a dealer change across the board. That's roulette Macau. That's just gone to number seven. Um, yeah, I'll watch this one again. That's pretty much the only table apart from VIP. Oh, that's Roulette Azure. Roulette Macau. So yeah, so let's see if this lands on uh, on any of the highlighted numbers. It's not looking amazing. Yeah, it's gone 23 again, that's unhighlighted. Number two, I mean, that's the only real one on this on this table. I like to see, you know, two or three double ups and a triple up and stuff like that. Uh, it is nice because they are congregated here in between 27 to number two. But there's only one, one instance where the pocket's been landed on more than once. that going it's gone to 19 so I mean it's in that area but it's not on a double up yeah and I've said to myself I'm only going to be betting with the consistent dealers so if I don't get a video out every day it's because uh, you know I haven't found a consistent dealer I'm not just gonna record and play for the hell of it because that's not how I how I work I, I I win at roulette because I look at the big picture and I always, well, most of the time, always play with just consistent dealers. That's gone to 13, so this dealer isn't consistent. So let's have a look, see if we can find something else. Um, yeah, the real, especially when you're using the dealer tracker, it's not that easy. Um, you know, you don't find the consistent dealers. Area key, you find patterns a lot easier. The dealer tracker, this is 100% the exact results of where the ball's landed. So that's why it's usually better for doing neighbor bets. 
But uh, on the last few videos I've done, you've seen me just betting on the single numbers. Um, that's when I found nice consistent dealers. That's gone to 22, so again, that's next to number nine there. Oh, did that just switch? Or does that go to 18? I don't know. It might have gone to 18. I don't know if she knocked it. In fact, let's have a look at the, uh, oh, the history. Yeah, it is 18, yeah. Yeah, so there's not a lot here, really. I mean, I'd be getting excited looking at this one because you've got 21, 4, 15. Um, let's have a look. The Roulette Macau, that dealer, uh, wasn't very consistent. This is Roulette Azure. We want to see it land sort of 21, 4, 15, that area. And carried on a bit, went to 36. So that's there. And the opposite spin direction is looking all right. 14, 9, 29. Uh, I'm saying it's all right because they're grouped together. Now, normally, I like to see the groupings like that because then you start getting more, more chances of the numbers landing on the existing pockets if the dealer's favoring that sort of area of the wheel. But in this case, no, it's gone to 21. So opposite side. Watch it for a few spins. So you can see here 283053, that's the area I want to see. I'll set it to 10 cents just in case I do decide to bet. But the idea is you have to wait until the spin count uh, spin count goes to 10 when you're doing this system because you're covering 10 units. So I mean, you don't have to wait until it goes there, but for the math to work out correctly, you would. Uh, where's that gone to? Number six. So just got to wait for some more data to come in. And uh, I'll keep looking. That's at Macau. It's very, very spaced. And it's odd to not see the double ups like that. Russian roulette's got a double up on zero. And there's only five, five spins in that direction. Let's see if that um, opposite spin direction on this one's okay as well. Yeah, it's a, I'll have a look at that in a minute. So what are we on? Roulette is yours, gone to 13. It's not looking great. Uh, let's go to Russian Roulette. Russian Roulette. The video's starting to drag a little bit. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Um, but I've decided I'm just going to play the sessions, me searching for dealers and stuff like that because uh, I know a lot of you want that you know it's not but I think you know it there is work that goes into it it's not just uh you know bet and win straight away maybe that's the problem maybe that's what my videos look like it's just I mean a lot of the time using the area key is quite easy I usually just jump on a table and uh you know I I've got all the tables auto tracking I'm like sweet that one um but yeah, it's not always like that. Even Sam says, Sam D, you know, he'll post on the network saying, I started today with like three grand in the bank. I finished today with three grand in the bank. Didn't find any consistent dealers, so don't play. You know, and it's true. If you don't find a consistent dealer, or oh, I thought that was in number 11 then, that was the double up there. It's gone to 30. So I'll keep an eye on this one, a Russian a roulette. Yeah, a couple next to each other, like four and nineteen, and then eight and thirty-six. It's gone to number five, so that's there. Uh, am I, I'm looking at the wrong table here, aren't I? That says Russian roulette. Let's have a look. Looking at the wrong numbers. <laughs> uh, Russian, I'm sure it... Oh, one win Russian, okay. Yeah, let's have a look. So we want to see that land. Uh, number four is a double up. And then you got five, seven, and eight. And you can see here they are... A, What's that gone to? 26, that's over there, that's no good. 
So still only one double up in this scenario. to number three so that's a double up so that would have been a win so she's got a double up one on either side if she gets another double up um, then I'll probably go in but I'm gonna wait for the spin count to go to ten so I just need a you know two more spins in either direction in both directions Gone to 35, so yeah, that's another double up there as well. So this dealer does seem to be favoring the pockets, which is good, that's what we're looking for. In fact, what I might do because she does look like she's favoring the pockets is um, I'll still bet 10 units, but I will bet on the numbers and ones like this where 12 is a double up I might do two units on 35 and so on but uh, let's just have a look that's gone to 23 so that's there uh, I think the opposite spin direction has now got two double ups yeah so number 8 and number 31 so um, I'll go in on the next one I will wait for this to go to 10 I might switch it to manual tracking as well because uh, right, that's gone to 32. Yeah, that is another double up. Okay, so the opposite spin direction is looking a lot better. Uh, I'm just going to go in. So 1, 2, 6, 14, 18, 16, 28, 32, 36. Now I'll just put another one on zero. So I'm putting three units on zero just because it's a double up. Uh, yeah, it's double up. But then I'm going to have to keep track and uh, use the spreadsheet and try a progression with this system. And it's going to get a bit more complicated as we step down. It's gone to 36, so that's a win. So I got the win there, so that would be that, and is 260 profit. Okay, so I don't need to keep that in there. Uh, but yeah, I shouldn't have been talking about it because I've still got to do this. But um, I've got three double ups on this. I haven't got time to get the bets on, but one, two... One, two, one, two. Oh, so I only bet uh, on 13 and 33 uh, for this one. Yeah, I need to uh, just be faster at this. Oh, 13. And I covered it. Sweet. Okay, that's, that's good. So I'm just going to explain what had happened here because that was uh, two. I put two units on it. I made a lot more profit that way, but... Instead of putting the win on this column, I would have put the W here because it's times two. So that's what I would have done there. And that would have given me 520 profit. OK, so I hope that makes sense. If it's a double up and I'm putting two units on it and I get the win, that's where it go. If it was three units on there, I would have put the W there. Um, so I really hope that makes sense. But anyway, we've got two wins um, back to back. 36 went to 13. So that is now a triple up. That's gone to 13, uh, which would have been a win as well. So this dealer's nailing those. So anyway, let's see if I can do this. So we've got 1, uh, 1, 2, 17, 1, 2, 27, 1, 2, 3, and 28 is 1. So at the moment, my bet's only going to be a dollar or a euro doing this. But if you step down the progression, that increases. And obviously, the wins are a lot meatier. But I'm just... Uh, showing you what's going on with this system uh, with the progression right where's that gone to number 21 so that would be a loss okay so i put an l there and now i'm stepping down but just doing one unit again and that is on 21 so i've got to be quick here so i'm going to do one two 
11, 14, 18, 21, 1, 2, and 1 on 26. So, yeah, I got on there again. So I'm still doing a single unit. Now, if this one misses, I go down, and then I do two units each one. So I can simply do a double on that. So let's have a look. And that's gone to 15. Okay, so that is a L. So now I'm doing two units. Uh, so I'll enter in number 15. So what I'll do is the same. So I'll do 1, 2, 2, 27 is 1, 2, and 28, 1, 2, 3, 1, and then I'll just double. So I'm doing 2 euros instead of 1 because now I'm on step 2, uh, sorry, step 3 of the progression. And I've done it to start off with, so it's 1, 1, then 2, 2, then 4, 4. So it's easy just to double and then double, double, if that makes sense. So that's gone to 23. Okay, so I'm going to input that. That is another loss. So we're going to put an L there. And now I'm going to do another two units. So we're going to go on 0, then 1, 2, 11, 18, 1, 2, 17, 23, 27, and 31, and then double. So again, two uh, euros out on the table. And that's gone to zero. So I got the win there. So what I would do now is put the W in here. That was a single win. So that puts me to 120 in profit. Okay. So... Yeah, if that was a double, then obviously I would have made more. And instead of the, the win going there, the win would have gone there. And then, of course, I'm making more profit. So I really hope that makes sense. If it was a if it was a triple up, so it, uh, let's just input that number. So that went to zero. So if it is like on 26, which you can see here has got a three, and that was the win, I would have put the win in this column which would have given me an 1160 profit. And then as soon as you get the win, no matter what, you can clear the data out and start again, okay? So I hope that really makes sense. So let's enter in these numbers. That zero went to 11. And uh, I have got time, so let's go. Uh, no, I haven't. Well, it looks like I've got time, but no, <laughs> it was in the minuses. And of course, I'm doing very low stakes, you know. So where's that one gone to? 33. So I'm going to put in number 33. And then I'll go on the board here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2. Then we're doing 16 has got 1, 2, 3. Then 21, 26, 30. And then 31. Okay, so again, just back down to 1 euro. Out on the table, and we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers covered, but we're betting 10 units because obviously we're increasing that on the double ups and the triple ups. Now, it is, a, it is one that you've got to be very quick at doing, do you know what I mean? So that's gone to 19, that is a loss, it was close. So we're going to step down, I'm going to input number 19, and I'm going to go on 0, 2, 1, 1, then 7, 15. 19, 27, 1, 2, and then on 35. So again, we're still doing one, uh, one euro out on the table. I'd be really surprised if you go 11 bets without hitting uh, when you've got a, uh, a consistent-ish dealer. That's gone to 27, so that's a win there. So obviously if I go there, we've made 160 profit whoopity do but you know you get you get the idea it's uh it's just what happens so you can see my balance is creeping up i'm at 107 euros and uh, you don't have to bet on every spin um but anyway i'm going to input that so you can see that this dealer is starting to hit different um you know the same pockets more frequently and uh yeah i'm just doing low stakes because i've never i've never used a progression with the dealer tracker just betting on individual numbers. That's gone to 32, so let's input that there. And let's uh, let's just go for one more win doing this. I think I've kind of explained what we're doing here. So 16 has got two, we've got 18, 28, 32, 
36 and two units on 34. So we're back down to step one. And uh, yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers covered because two of those are double ups, which have two units on each. So number 16 and 34. And where are we going? 25. So 25 is a loss, so I'm going to put an L there. And then step down. I'm going to input number 25. And then we are going to go one there, one, two, three, then 14, 16, 22, 27, 33, and 35. So we're still on one euro. If this misses, we then step down to two euros. That's gone to number four. I thought it was going for number two there. So that is a loss. So I'm going to put an L there. Now we're going to do two units. And that is going to go on number four, six, eight. A couple on 13, a couple on 20, 19, 28, 32. And we're going to double. So we're doing two euros out on the table now. So it's still very, very low bets. But you can make the profit, especially when it lands on a double up and triple up and sometimes the quadruple ups. Uh, then you do make good money, especially if you step quite far down into that progression, if you know what I mean. That's gone to 21, so we just missed that one. So I'm going to put an L there. Now we're going to do two units again, but we're going to go on number 1, 3, 5, 2, 1, 4, then we've got 15, 24, 28, 31, 34, and double. I mean, she's not got that many double ups. She's only got one on this uh, opposite spin here. Where's that country? Number five. So we got the win there. So what we would do now is just put a W there, and that's put me 120 in profit. So it is, you know, it is what it is. We uh, didn't hit any double, like double or triple ups on that, I don't think. We might have done, I can't remember. But. Um, no, I don't think we did. I think we've just hit the single ones. But most of the time you do, you hit those double ups and the triple ups and stuff when using the dealer tracker. Uh, so I'm just going to input that number. That went to number five. And uh, yeah, I think I've, I think I've demonstrated enough of what this, uh, what this thing does. That's gone to number two. Um, and just uh, for, you know, completion, my advice target is ten, like if you're doing 10 cents per number, is only a 10, um, 10 pound target or 10 euro target. That's the number per, uh, the cost per number times 100 is what I've done for that uh, formula. Don't want to do that. Yeah, so it's uh, the cost per number times 100. Um, and yeah, it's one that you could sit on for quite a while and, uh, you know, make a little bit of profit. What, I was at 90, 90 something, I'm at 109 now. So, see there, 33, that was right next to those uh, cluster there as well. So, um, this dealer's been okay. She's not the most consistent dealer I've found, but not the worst. Um, let me know what your thoughts on this, guys. What What do you think to this, uh, this step system? Um, or not really a step system, it's just a progression, a 10 number progression. Um, using the dealer tracker to bet on the last 10 results. So quite interesting. It's something that I've been meaning to do for a while uh, and I've finally done it. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to do the test between the RC Step System and the RC Step System Black. So what I'm going to do is uh, find a table that's looking consistent and I would be betting using the Step System across the entire board. So I'll be betting on the highlighted numbers on this particular one and I'll be betting on the unhighlighted numbers on this one. I won't be betting money, I'm just going to be doing a trial, just going through to see would one person be profitable, would the other person be profitable, or would you both be profitable? My guess is both people would be in profit unless there was just a horrible run of just nothing but highlighted numbers or nothing but unhighlighted numbers. So stay tuned for that one. I'm excited to give that one a try. I hope you enjoyed this session. A little bit longer, but 
it is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to explain exactly what it is that I am trying to do. Subscribe now.